So what is up guys, Killer Given today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be episode 7 within our Fallout 4 mod series. Without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot is going to be Legion Armor. This is absolutely insane, this one. It comes with a nice little backstory to this as well. Whispers of the Red Clag Gang are moving eastward and they have started to circulate in the Boston area. You can craft this armor in particular, the style of it. It's kind of like a steampunk Legion Armor from the Roman era within the chem stage. It's very easy to make as well. Two different types of headdress in this particular mod too. Wandering NPCs can be found wearing this armor. But for me, it was pretty cool just to have on myself and the follower. As I said before, it is kind of going for that steampunk Boston, aka the Commonwealth theme, but also back to the era of the Romans. And as we well know, back in the day, the Romans used to be the most fierce soldiers, possibly at that current point in time. So it's nice to see a miraculous, or so I say, a triumphant set of armor, most renowned for that particular rep, come within to the game. For our next spot is going to be the Golden Ninja Took Katana. This is a absolutely insane little katana as well. I do like melee weapons that are integrated within Fallout 4. For me, there seems to be quite a few guns. But this one adds a sweet, badass little katana on the top of red rocket looks pretty good the base damage of it is going to be a massive 100 for me i felt like it was a little bit op i don't know why i don't have actually any or that many skills within the melee side to do with fallout 4 but i was pretty much one shot in the majority of the stuff going around within the commonwealth section nice textured and modeling throughout this definitely worth a pickup if you're into your melee weapons and you just want a slight change or a different variation i know a lot of people have been wanting a katana to come to fallout 4 as we have covered previous ones on skull Skyrim, and I don't know why, but those two realms do cross very frequently. Obviously, a lot of people do want some of the Skyrim stuff to come to Fallout 4, and this is definitely going to be one. A sweet katana, free of charge, with beautiful textures within the world of Fallout. Repair Red Rocket. This is absolutely insane. Now, as you can tell on screen now, I do have a load of other different texture mods and grass mods slash overhauls running in conjunction with this one. But basically what it does is it actually repairs the Red Rocket to an outstanding level. It is really nice. The glow on the rocket itself is there and through the text with the trim on top of the building too. I think this would be a great mod for anyone that's actually looking for a nice flashy home to build on top of the Red Rocket. I know a lot of people do that within the saves. Who knows, I might be an old school person just because back in the day, a lot of people did do that it's obviously integrated with a nice wood trim within the red rocket and the red rocket glow as it did say very nice addition to the commonwealth it's very nice indeed if you are going to start building a new section on top of the red rocket but for a low download size of 27.9 it is definitely worth to add to the collection of your overhauls and for a penultimate spot in this video and not too sure why you'd want this but for me it's for your boy harambe it is going to be craftable gorillas this is a absolutely insane mod not too sure why you'd want this it's kind of kooky and funky, but for a download size of 2.8 KB, it's definitely worth a try. Who knows, you might enjoy it. But basically what this does, it allows you to craft different size of gorillas into your settlement. Can be created in multiple sizes and they are craftable under the decor section in the miscellaneous and they can be made for multi-fruit, which is absolutely insane. That is the, the back button on the Xbox One. I'm not too sure what it is on the PS4, but this is on all platforms. It's worth definitely a try and it's just something fun. Who knows, you might fall in love with me. As you can tell i kind of just put like the same amount of gorillas within this particular footage but why not they are extremely dangerous if you do annoy them as well but back to saying that we got the golden ninja took katana to take care of them now for our last spot this mod has actually been out for some time now and i do apologize i haven't covered it as soon as we should or as soon as i liked or would have covered it but prior to that this was on the nexus and now i believe it's just come on to the Bethesda line it is the knight's power armor absolutely insane this one really did enjoy it. it was actually kind of easy to obtain too the hanth chapel is where you can find all the particular pieces for this beautiful set of power armor it does actually respawn as well so if you do lose any of the sets or you want multiple variations of the set which we'll go on about in a minute then you can actually do that by obtaining and waiting for that restore chest to pop up but all the lining can be added to the mk1 2 3 4 and 5 also this comes with the miscellaneous perk of a jetpack to do with this night set a weapon that I I could not actually find so if you guys know what that is let me know because this would be absolutely awesome to make a build video on but it comes with all different pieces i believe three different variations of helmets one that is currently being displayed in this video and the rest of it is a full set that is going to be helmet right leg left leg right arm and right leg 
absolutely insane with as i say three different types of helmets that is this arm is beautifully well detailed that is for the thumbnail as well and as you can tell in screen it is looking pretty damn popping pretty cool for a playthrough as i say again it's something pretty new and i think that the majority of all these mods that we've integrated in today's video have been pretty game changing so guys hopefully you did enjoy this episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net for Fallout 4. This is going to be the seventh one in our series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Fallout 4 content as much as you are enjoying the Skyrim. If you haven't already subscribed guys, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click the little bell to get notifications every single time I upload to my channel. But until the next one guys, get a it and get a give out.